So in my last video, I unlocked Chucky's Adept against one of the most annoying flashlight squads I've ever played with. This contributed to my long-term goal of trying to unlock every single trophy for Dead by Daylight on PlayStation. And then I thought, what better to encourage me to unlock all the killer adepts than by making it a series? But I'm not going to do this the conventional way, no, I'm not going to start from the beginning and work my way through till the end. And I'm not going to start with the good ones. Because if at the end I'm just left with the bad ones, then I'll never 100% the game. Which is why I've decided to torture myself by learning to play the Skull Merchant. The thing about starting from the bottom is that the only way is up from here. I just have to endure playing as this terrible, terrible killer against people who hate playing against this terrible, terrible killer. It's not going to be an easy ride, but all I need for her adept is a 4k with her three unique perks, which are game afoot. I've just read this twice and I still don't get it. So I think kicking generators and breaking pallets gives you 5% haste, but only when you're chasing the obsession. And if you hit the survivor that's run you around the longest, they become the obsession. <sighs> Behavior was really scratching the bottom of the barrel with this one. Leverage. Whenever you hook a survivor, you gain a token, and this perk activates. For each token, the speed at which survivors heal is reduced by 3% for 30 seconds. And THWACK. Really creative name. After hooking a survivor, the next wall or pallet you break will reveal the aura of everyone in a 28 meter radius and make them scream. So in the grand scheme of things, she's basically perkless. Cause how on earth are any of these supposed to help me? I've got her to level 10, I will not be putting any more blood points into her than what's necessary which means I have one survivor pudding to last me. So I'm gonna save that until I'm a little bit better at this killer. <laughs> which might never happen, might never happen. So just to be completely clear, I have never even seen gameplay of this killer. Okay, inspect radar. What the hell does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna deploy a drone here. Hello, Kate. I'm just gonna be playing Skull Merchant as an M1. <laughs> fear that is the only way I'm going to be able to do much of anything. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh. My first down as the Skull Merchant. Alan. Oh, that's two gens. That's three gens. Mr. Wake. Oh. Come on, Alan. Damn. <laughs> Four gens? Four gens, two hooks. Really strong killer. Right, so I've recalled that drone. Can I leave it here? I don't understand any of this. Hello. That's unfortunate. Oh, you're joking already? What does that even mean now that he's... What, is he exposed? What is this? Nicholas. Okay, guys, here's how I can still turn this into a 4K. Damn. Sorry, Nick. I won't tunnel. Oh my god, wait, can I get you? Can I get you? Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? That's unfortunate, Alan. Nothing personal. Oh my god, I get Nick as well. <gasps> that's quite cheeky, actually. That's so cheeky. That was not fair. <laughs> that was not fair at all. So my initial thoughts and feelings on the school merchant are that she's a whole lot of nothing. Like, I'm not getting any use out of her perks, I'm not getting any use out of her drones. They said something about traps. Did I miss that? The lock-on meter fills when scanned by a drone and when failing to disable a drone. When the meter's full, the survivor receives a claw trap, becomes injured, and suffers from the broken status effect. Right, well, I wasn't seeing any of that last game. Yamaka Estate. I've actually spawned in an ideal location to deploy a drone, so that's something. Hello, Michaela. Where are we running to? Oh, that's humiliating, isn't it? Oh, no double back. Okay. How long can you last against a skull merchant? Not that long, apparently. I'm coming for you now. That wasn't very smart, Sable. If I end up getting a merciless 4K, it's by no means a reflection of my skill. I think it's entirely luck and the survivors that I queue with. Now I heard a gen over here was being done and I can't have that. 
Hello, Meg. Respectfully, I'm gonna kick this and then I'll come for you. I what the hell? She's cracked. It's okay, this Meg knows something that we don't. She's playing 4D chess. I just. I haven't figured it out yet. Your pathing is poor. Gotcha. Oh, I saw you there. Hello. I'm sorry. That. You didn't deserve that. That was really poor. Adam! Adam, I've been looking for you. I haven't seen you this game, Adam. Where is he? Was that him? No, it's you again! Michaela, look. Yeah, I'll take you. <sighs> Apparently Sable's been detected. Oh, there she is, there she is. Oh my god, they're all here. They're cracked. Need to pressure that door. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's two. Right. And Meg is detected. But where detected? Is she up there? That one's yellow. Is she up there? Oh, what? Oh my god, they've all gone to the other door. Fair enough. They had me there. Yeah, that's fair. Not terrible. Could do better. Midwitch? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're playing comp this game. Now, I've actually looked up how her drones work, and I've got a pretty good idea of how to utilize them on this map. Are you the distraction? You're the distraction. I am familiar with your game. Nice. So we've got a two second chase to start off with. And one of my drones has detected somebody who is right here. Okay. That's two hooks out the gate. This is good because it'll make it look like I know what I'm doing. Oh, hello. This map is so dark I can't see a thing. Okay, I'm wasting time here. I think she wants out of the game. Okay. Even though I'm technically winning, I'm not having any fun this game at all. I can't really offer any exciting commentary. I genuinely have nothing. Hello. I pretty much did just tunnel you, I realize. Okay, two gens. They're uh, actually getting something done now. I see you over there. I Honestly, I cannot see where you are. Are you here? You hide very well in this corner, which I, I guess is the point. Oh, no. We have a competent one. We have a competent one. Let's see how far it gets her. Now, Claude, I know you're over here and I know you blend in. Hello. Is this your last hook? Okay. It's just Sable and Claude. Claude is the problem. Because she's purposefully come as Blender. Hello, where are you? Are you here? Where are you? If I can just figure out where she goes, because she's been hiding in that corner all game. Actually, do you know what? Right there. So, as far as I can tell, nothing's being worked on, unless they've gone up to this one, which I sort of hope they have, because then they've kind of three-gen themselves. Hello. Where are they? I see you now, Claude. Oh, it's not even Claude. I'll take that. Are you, are you around here? Oh yeah, that's an idea. What are you going to do? You are sort of trapped here. Oh, so Claude's around here then. Where is she? Where is she? If there's one thing I can't have, it's Claudette getting hatch. And she's dead now. Oh, I see you. Oh, there you go. Please. Please pop the adept. Please pop the adept. I've never wished for anything more in my life. Yes! <laughs> adept Skull Merchant. I never have to play this killer again. Holy shit.
Do you know what as well? It's like I said earlier in the video, that wasn't even a reflection of my skill as killer. I just happened to get survivors who would have rather died than played against the Skull Merchant. Like, I would not have got that, that game, if certain survivors hadn't given themselves to me. I know that, but this video wasn't about me being a really good Skull Merchant. It was about getting the Adept, whatever the cost, and I got the Adept. And it was about finding out whether the Skull Merchant is as bad as people say. And the answer? She's worse.